everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma, if those of you that don't know me. Um, if you're new here then it's really lovely to see you. Uh, if you like what you see then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post videos about um, my Slimming World journey. I post a lot of videos, well not a lot because I've only just started my channel, um, about charity shop finds and things like that. So it'd be really good to have you along for the journey. Um, so yeah, so if you do like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. You see all that washing on the radiator there? I'm such a scuzz bag. Um, so uh, you find me just about to go and get weighed in. I have to swap arms. Um, just about to go and get weighed in for the bleh, seventh time. Um, so hoping for good things. Um, I've had a really good week. Last week was Star Week. And um, I was I was weighed the day before I came on, so I'm hopeful that with that gone and a really good week behind me, that I can smash that pound barrier because I just keep losing a pound or a pound and a half. So if I could, I'd really like to lose two today. I'm at ten pound at the moment, so if I could lose two and get to twelve, I'd just be delighted. Who knows? I do feel though this week like there's been a bit of a change in my body and I feel a little bit better um, and my jeans are a little bit looser and things like that. So hopefully we shall see. However, I have had about four bananas this week and you know that age old argument of are bananas free because they're not speed and should you eat them because they're full of sugar and you put weight on if you eat them and all that baloney so we'll find out anyway because I've had about four so if I don't lose any weight or I don't lose as much as I want to I'm going to blame them I'm also wearing I've just put my perfume on um which is Jo Malone pomegranate noir and I've just put it on going oh, that's quite a heavy sense like that's going to make a difference to my weighing and I've got a headache and I haven't even taken a paracetamol because I don't want to swallow the mouthful of water to take the paracetamol with before weighing so, all positive here, <laughs> honestly. Um, and then, as per, on a Monday, off for a bacon butty after with my hubby. So, um, yeah. So, I'll catch up with you after weigh-in and hopefully we will have great news. Um, so, yeah. So, I'll catch up with you all soon. Bye. Hi, guys. So, welcome back. So this is part two of the video and I went to Slimming World this morning and I've lost two and a half pounds which takes my grand total to twelve and a half pounds. So I'm just absolutely delighted. We went for, I didn't stay, um, although you know, I could have been in with Slimmer of the Week, I could have been in with a chance because nobody before me lost that much. Maybe a few people after me did, I don't know. So, um, but anyway, I won't, I won't ever know. So I am now, yeah, 12 and a half pounds, which I'm absolutely bloody delighted with. I mean, if you could have, when I think back to the first video that I put on, which was like me being absolutely, like completely brassed off because I'd only lost a pound on my second week. And I'm only five weeks on and I'm nearly a stone down so I think you've just got to give it time and I think you know like I said last week I was talking to the woman and she was sort of saying that when you have done something well before it's very difficult to lose weight a second time because it comes off slower for one but also when when you go for the first time the changes that you make are really, really big to your diet. Whereas, because they brainwash you so much, when you actually stop going to Slimming World, you still carry on doing those things. You carry on buying the 5% fat mints and you carry on cutting rind off your bacon. And not that I ever do, but oh, ever did really. So, it's really difficult when you go back the next time because those changes that you make are like tweaks as opposed to massive changes. So I get why it is slower. Um, I am in the throes of making the um, onion barges, the Slimming World, Slim, Slim, Jesus Christ, the Sin Free Slimming World onion barges um, because we're having curry for tea, Slimming World curry. Um, but we're both starving. My husband and I went for breakfast and we both had bacon and egg butties. 
And do you know what? I've either gone for toast or I've had a bacon butty every week um, since doing Slimming World and every week I've had a loss. And what I do is I just go, I have it, I write it off. Because at first I was like, oh, should I use it as Sins or should I use it as Healthy Extra? Do I bugger? I don't do any of that. Just have it, bloody enjoy it, draw a line and then move on. Um, so I'm making the onion barges, but you're supposed to use sweet potato. I haven't got any. So I'm using normal potato. They'll probably taste a bit shit, but we'll see. I'm the world's worst for looking at a recipe and going, <laughs> I haven't got any of that. I'll use this, 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 and this instead. So we'll see how they turn out anyway. I'm going to do them in a cake tin. So, uh, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, they'll either be vile or they'll be amazing. I have made the onion barges before, but there were some that you did. You do these in like a cake tin, which I think sounds a bit more, it'll be a bit better and stay together. The ones I made last time, you kind of had to shape them yourself and like fry them off and they were just a complete and utter disaster. Um, I mean, I ate them because <laughs> it's food, let's face it. But they, yeah, they were a little bit of a disaster. So um, my dress is beginning to look like a bit of a sack on me now, really, um, which, you know, I'm not going to complain about. Um, I've just, I think I've got mascara all down my eyes because I've just cut onions up, even though I have my glasses on, I'm still, uh, still cried. Because I haven't yet found a way of cutting an onion that doesn't make me cry. I thought I'd nailed it and for a couple of years it was alright and I don't know what I'm doing different now, but um, yeah, I can't, um, can't cut an onion now without getting mascara everywhere. Um, so this week coming up should be should be able to have a pretty good week. I've got my parents coming tomorrow, um, which kind of means that there's probably going to be coffee and cake involved. But if I buy the I buy the hi-fi bars, um, I find that I can have. If we go out for coffee, I just like sneak one in and unwrap it and pretend it was like you know I, it, I bought it there, um, and they'll never know. Um, and I've I've found that over the last week having 20 grams of oats as my healthy extra B and having a hi-fi bar has been loads better and not having to use my sins on it. The 20 grams, I whack two eggs in, a bit of yogurt, um, what else? That's it isn't it? Um, so, and I find that that still makes me like six or seven pancakes so, you know, I'm not that greedy a bitch so I need 14 pancakes in the morning which is where I was having. <laughs> So, um, and you know, banana gate, I've had four bananas this week and still managed to lose two and a half. So, you know, the, well, who knows, who knows. I am on nights next weekend though. I'm on night Saturday and Sunday night and then obviously I'll be going to weigh in on Monday. So, my feelings this week are that if I can get a main tame, I'll be pretty happy after nights. I lost, I've lost two pounds after nights, I think, about three weeks ago. I think, have I lost more? Have I lost another pound after nights as well? I think I have. So I've, I've done okay. I'm going to do the Mayflower curry because that satisfies me on nights. Um, and just see how I get on. So, and like the rest of the week, I haven't really got anything planned. Um, I do, before I do, before I did the job I do now, um, I was a hairdresser. So, and I've still got a few people that I go around and say, hi, Jan, if you're watching. Both Jans, I do two Jans. Um, so um, I'm seeing one of them tomorrow and she always plies me with something when I get there, which, you know, you can't say no to, can you? Because that's rude. And um, and then on Wednesday, I'm meeting a friend for lunch. Um, so and we'll probably end up having cake. Although she is a gym bunny and a, ve a vegetarian, so she's probably a good a good person to go out for lunch with because she's more conscious of what she's eating than all my other people, all my other friends. <laughs> Sorry, all my other friends. <laughs> um, and then Thursday I'm working a day shift and I'm fine with that. And then Friday, no plans. And then Saturday, Sunday nights. So we'll see anyway. It'll be what it'll be. I'm going to try. I'm going to try my blooming damnedest and see if we can't get a loss on them scales next week. So um, I just thought I'd pop on. Um, my husband's just whipped outside with my daughter because she's for some reason has decided that she wants like to start running and like cross country type stuff. So they, it's pouring down with rain, bless my husband. <laughs> but she was adamant she wanted to go out. So they've got, I was like that, oh, oh, I've got on your barges to make, you know, um, 
oh, I'd better sit this one out. <laughs> so um, he's like that. So he's gone out to watch him and time her. Um, so good luck there. And then I've said that there'll be barges ready for when they get in. And then I'll do this curry. So yeah. And I'm telling you now, just FYI, a complete aside, I have bought, and this has got nothing to do with Slimming World at all in any way, shape or form. There's some shampoo <laughs> and conditioner in Lidl that are, they look exactly like the Aussie stuff. I've, I've got that. They look exactly like that, but they're like about 33p each or something ridiculous. And we've washed our hair in them, me and my daughter. Oh my God, yesterday, I wanted to scratch my head off. I'm not very, sen I'm not a sensitive person to, to stuff at all. Nothing brings me out in a rush. I'm not sensitive to anything. I can whack any old shitty cream on my face and it doesn't matter and just, you know, I'm, I'm really not precious about it. But oh my God, to the point where I thought, I, 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 bet I must have nits, I must, I must have nits. Hair pets, as we like to call them. So I've got my daughter's hair this morning and I was like, look, we really need to check for, for hair pets because I'm sure we've got them. And we've had a look through and we haven't. But oh my God, I can't wait to wash my hair tonight. So I've been and bought proper Aussie stuff. Just, oh, uh, I want to scratch my head off, it's vile. Um, and I've had a headache all day and I don't know if I've had a headache all day because I've been scratching my head so much or whether I didn't take my paracetamol this morning because I didn't want to take them before I went way in. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and I will catch up with you all next week. So if you enjoyed this video, <laughs> um, please don't forget to hit that like button and um, don't forget to subscribe. I don't just do this. I do lots of other bits and bobs as well. Um, there is a come on a charity shop shopping trip with me that's going to be uploaded probably in a couple of days that I did over the weekend. Um, and then I've got another charity shop haul for you, which I'll probably upload next weekend because I don't want to overload you. Um, you know, we want to we want to spread it out a bit. So anyway, that's it. I'm done. I'm going. Onion barges are calling, and I will catch up with you soon. Thanks ever so much for watching, and take care. Lots of love. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,